Welcome back to Sunday League Football and this week we return after last week's game was postponed due to a bit of rain. Oh dear. I've got a little bit of an update for you. You might have remembered the other week we lost 3-1 to Gateway. Now for some reason when I checked the league it turns out the result has been overturned and it's been given in our favour. I've not had any confirmation from the league as to why it's happened but what it does mean is our loss now turns into a win and gives us another 3 points on the ball. Today we face up to Thurrock All-Stars who sit in 4th. It's a new team, we've never played them before so let's see how we get on. Here's Sean, our number one keeper, knocking back a can of coke at 10am. He's still injured up until Christmas, which means we give our backup keeper Toomey his Palmer's FC debut today. Let's hope he can keep the goals out. So the players tell me they want more from these videos. They want scores in the corner. They want starting lineups. They want the lot. But for some unknown reason, I agree to it, giving me more work to do to get this video up the same day. Great. So without further ado, here is the starting lineup for today. So between the sticks, making his debut is Toomey, left back is Waza, centre backs are Tomo and Dan, and then right back is Graham. In left midfield we've got Nolsey, whose real name's actually Aaron, and I've called him Aaron here, so um, Aaron, I guess. Centre midfield we've got Jamie, we've got Liam, and then on the right we've got Luke. Just in front of them we've got Kev, and then up top we've got Too Good. And with that pointless exercise done, here's a scoreboard. Are you happy? Good. Let's go. And so a bit of pressure early on as the long throw comes in, our opponent goes to shoot but doesn't connect properly and Toomey collects nice and easy. Up the other end, the ball's whipped in by Graham, it gets past everyone but makes it through to Nolsey who takes a touch and a shot that the keeper makes a save and the defender eventually clears it. Of course, we're playing Sunday League football here so it's always good to show you the bits that make it what it is. Back on the attack again as Jamie picks up the ball, he puts a lovely cross in but no one's on the end of it because they don't need to be. It's back of the net, 1-0 Palmers. Down the other end, we don't look too sure of ourselves as the ball rolls into the area. Toomey comes to collect, Tomo takes the touch, now he can't pick it up. What's he going to do? He cuts inside and probably makes the best clearance I've seen for a long time. That's sarcasm. It rolls out to the opponent, who puts it straight over the bar. More pressure now, not a great shot from our opponent, but Toomey makes a save, gets back up to make the second one as well. And he's at it again here as our opponent takes a shot and he saves it with his knee. The boy is certainly looking like a good backup keeper. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. That goal obviously affected Andrew's performance on the camera as he films the grass here. And we're back. So I'm not really sure what to say about this clip, so I'm just going to let it roll and let Andrew take over with his commentary. No, do not play it in front of... Do not play it across fucking goal! So at half time we're 2-1 down and the lads got together and had a very civilised conversation on how we could get back into this game. So the second half starts as good as it can, as long as he brings the ball forward, he takes on his man, he puts the cross in, but the defender gets there ahead of Luke in the middle. You've got no fans! Sorry mate, but we've clearly got two there. What are you want some? No, 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 I'm just pointing out that we have got fans. If you want some, I'll give it to you. You want to do with me? No, I'm sorry mate, I'm, look, I'm not a violent person, I don't want to fight, so just leave it there. And for those that really like the grass that Andrew filmed earlier on, here's some more. So the sun came out to play as this long throw made its way into the box, found our opponent, but Dan does well to clear it off the line. Again, I'm going to let this clip roll and let Andrew's commentary take over because it's probably going to be much more entertaining than mine. Go on, Kev. Go on. You'll sit in the pub. Go on, Kev! 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 And here's some more grass for you guys. I know you love it. Now, as Kev steps up to take this penalty, we're going to play a little game. You're going to put this video on pause and guess which way he's going to go. No cheating. And you've got six choices, pretty much. It's bottom left, top left, bottom right, top right, straight down the middle, or he's going to miss. Let me know in your comments below. If you got it right, you've just earned Kev's weekly Palmer's salary, which is a packet of quavers. Only 88 calories. More pressure now as Kev looks to make up for his miss. He puts the cross in, but it goes past everyone. Down the other end, our opponents make it through. Toomey's called into action as he makes the save at his near post. Next up, a corner's whipped in. They get ahead to it, but so does Wazza as he clears it off the line. Nick's on the field for Luke now as he passes it wide out to, I, I don't know, I'm assuming it's Nolsey. But um, yeah, the cross comes in, and Luke who's on the end of it. Captain Fantastic Jamie with a volley, back of the net, back in the game. All right, well, maybe not. Big kick from Toomey now as it reaches Jamie, who heads on, and Nick finds himself through and on goal. He's honest, he stays on his feet as the defender clips him, but he's off balance and puts it over the bar. Late on in the game now, Nolsey keeps the ball in play. He cuts it inside to Nick, who lets it run past him. On the turn, does a first-time shot, and it gets past the keeper, but hits the post. Unlucky. And that, my friends, is full time. It actually ended worse than you can see in the top corner. It was 4-2 in the end, and Andrew actually missed the third goal. So, um, yeah, not a good day for Palmer's FC. Next week, the League Cup starts, and we're up against top of the table in side Stanford Town so I will see you then take it easy